Hi Tubes and Tubats, um, I don't even know why I say that, it's just something to do, but, um, guy on YouTube said I should get some, uh, manuals and some books from the library on how to, uh, fix the stuff that I recently got interested in and, uh, repairing mowers. And so, I picked this up, uh, they sent it in from a different library for where I live, and it's, uh, you've probably seen these before. It's a riding mower service manual. It's the first edition. It's for uh, 92 and later. It covers, um, it's volume 2. It covers like, uh, completely covers maintenance and repair information for riding lawn mowers. Also includes individual sections on transmissions, transactions, and engine repair. Now, once I get finished reading this, I'm probably going to pick one up on the internet to read yeah or uh either get one from Barnes Noble Amazon or something but yeah I'll show you the back it covers uh Alco Alice, Aaron's, Club Cadet John Deere, Honda, Macy Ferguson, MTD, Simplicity, Snapper which is my favorite uh Wheel Horse and the White Tractors yeah, I'll show you a little bit on the flip through it real quick. What I find funny is I'll show you the first page. Um, where is it? Shows the contents, different things. There's a little drawing of a snapper cart. It looks it's that snapper thing that I repaired during the summer. It drove me a little nuts, as you can see by my videos on YouTube. This goes over the fundamentals and stuff. I think, oh, that's all the service manuals for those tractors that it's listed on the back. It's a pretty cool manual. Let's flip through it real quick. Yeah. This way it saves you. It has multiple manuals in the one book, which is I think is really cool. As there's more than one tractor out there. Oh, it also covers, uh, Kohler engines, uh, Briggs and Stratton, Kawasaki, and Tecumseh in this book like how to do rebuilds and stuff so I get this book for three weeks and I think you can have it up to three times for three weeks each so it's the off season so I figure I'm just gonna there's a schematic on the wiring and I figure I just uh, file through this and learn everything I can my uh, friend guy I got the snapper from he, he picks up tractors and stuff free once in a while so I was trying to repair those and learn on those and stuff like I did with the snapper. Our uh, next project is probably that simplicity tractor we'll do together. I kind of want to buy it from them but I got the snapper I guess that's good enough and plus I got my yard machines. Would love another little uh, project tractor to do someday. I'd love to find another snapper too. I can find the snapper stuff in here. I'll show you what I did with mine. Yeah, there's the. I took that differential case apart. There's bolts in it. And uh, my friend and I, we uh, put a chain in there and he put the link in the chain. We just pieced that stuff back together. Right there is where you put the grease in it for the snapper. Uh, they also have these, these weird rubber wheel discs things on them. Mine has the three bolts on them, and there it shows you how to correctly adjust the engine disc on the rubber disc. Zoom out so you can see it better, so uh, you can uh, put it together so it shifts right. Yeah. And there's, see, if you're always, if you're missing the snapper manual, you can just get it in this book, or uh, other chapter manuals you want to see. And uh, simplicity is in here too. Where is it? Snapper, snapper, snapper. There's a solenoid to a snapper right there. Uh, there's Macy Ferguson's in here too. That's pretty cool. I think it covers more tractors than it says. Yeah. Macy Ferguson's the best. I love their tractors. Big fan of the old Club Cadets. Uh, the Simplicity tractors, the old Sears Suburbans. Those things are awesome. 
I'll have to own one of these one day. One of those one day. As you can tell, uh, I got the sniffles. But, yeah. Um, I want to send out a shout out to Creaky V. Uh, he, he had uh, snapper videos too, and he gave me ideas how to repair mine, and he just got tired of the YouTube thing, and he's closed down with his account. I still have plans to stay on there. I don't know what changes that I YouTube's going to make. I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it, because uh, I get a lot of enjoyment on making these videos. Oh, I have 18 subscribers now. I'd like to thank all of you for subscribing. There must be something good I'm doing because you're subscribing to me. But, I'm probably just rambling and stuff right now. There's some sort of carburetor right there. It's probably it looks like a Briggs. Yeah. But I just wanted to show you this book. If you're, ch if you're too cheap to buy it like me, I bet um, any library in your area would probably have it. It's even got a, a blonde girl on there with 90s clothes on there. Oh, the copyright is on this is, uh, let's see, like 2001-2007, so it's fairly new. Covers a lot of stuff in here. Well, this video is long enough. You guys have a good night, and, um... I'll try to get some videos together soon. It's kind of cold here. I'm not in the garage a lot. I just recently did that yard machines tractor and put the engine on it. God bless you all. You have a good night. Take care. Bye.